Hi guys, welcome to another episode of our tutorials by Level Notion Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can render out orthographic view in Blender. So let's get started. So I'm going to be working with this scene, and uh, before I do much, I want to change a few things about how my character looks. Um, okay, I think I like this, so let's go. Now, when you use uh, the numbers we have on the keyboard, like one, for example, that takes you to the front orthographic view. I would like to turn this off for a moment. And then when you use uh, the three, key that gives you the side orthographic view as you can see here right orthographic view and then uh, if you use nine nine flips it over to the left okay so this is the left orthographic view as you can see and then uh, seven will give you from the top you know see how it looks from the top okay and each of these views can easily be rendered when you go to um, viewports, render animation. So you can easily render out this perspective. But then, if you really want to render out the perspective with all the shading you have in your scene, it becomes very difficult. And there's just one way that I know that you can do it. Maybe there are other ways, but I have no idea of those. And, uh, if there are other ways, you can put that in the comment section below, so I learn as well. <laughs> All right, so the only way I know how to do this is using your camera, and this is how you go about it. First, I want to go to the right uh, orthographic view. You can use any orthographic view of your choice, and this will give you an effect of 2.5D kind of look, okay? And in a way, it's, it's, it's a style that you can come up with as well. In your project okay so you go to the um, right orthographic view and from here I'm gonna create a camera now to create my camera I want that to be in the scene collection so I'm gonna click on scene collection then shift a to create the camera once the camera is created I'm going to view uh, through the camera now to do so I'm gonna hold down control and O and now this is the camera. Now from the camera settings, go to N, go to view. I can make sure I have a camera to view checked. So with that, it becomes possible for me to zoom in and zoom out and reposition my camera. Okay. Now that I have these settings, um, the next thing I wanna do is come here to the camera, um, object property here and change the type to orthographic. So once I have this in orthographic, you notice that my character looks smaller. And if I try to zoom in, I can't do so. Even if I try to do so using the location uh, attribute here, nothing happens. I can't zoom in. The reason is because when you're talking about orthographic, the depth attribute is taken out of the equation. So you have no de depth. That's why everything is flattened out. But then if I want to have access to, uh, if I want to bring my character closer, all I need to do is use the orthographic scale here. So when you increase the scale, it brings your character closer. And you can adjust as well by using the Shift X and Shift Y. Okay. So now I have my orthographic camera and I can render this out with all the EV details or cycle details that I have in my scene. And at the same time, I also have the luxury of rendering out my 3D work in 2.5D kind of style. Yes. So as you can see, this is a cycles and I still have my my beautiful uh, 2.5D effect, right. 
So guys, this is what I'm going to call it a wrap. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. And until next time, keep your creativity blending.